Welcome to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are reviewing the Russell Reserve 2003. This bottle right here we would classify as a unicorn bottle. It's extremely hard to get, extremely hard to come by. I was very fortunate enough, Wild Turkey just randomly one day put out that they were going to do a uh, Russell's Reserve 2003 tasting with the option of buying a bottle. Um, I was lucky enough to get in, tried getting him to go. He was unavailable for... I'm an old man, so uh, yeah. I had to do old man things and <laughs> take the old dive into the first uh, colonoscopy. So, yeah, there you go. Yeah, so he couldn't go, and he chose to do that instead of this. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's, again, these bottles... Not only do they not show up in stores at all anywhere, but you might be able to see one in a lottery like once a year that it will come up. And even then, they normally stores only have a few. They only had 3,600 bottles of this available. And that's, I mean, that's extremely, extremely low. And considering that, you know, this is, I mean, it's wild turkey. I mean, it's all around the world. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's huge, not only in America, but it's huge in Australia and huge in Japan and, you know, just, Everywhere where there can be bourbon, wild turkey is. So to for us to be able to get our hands on this bottle, yeah. it's a pretty big deal. And we're extremely excited about it. Yeah, we're definitely excited about it. I so mean, the, the from the pretty box. Oh yeah. The packaging with it. Yeah. Like we were literally sitting there, I'm like, like we gotta have the box, right? Because the box there, I mean, just the front of it with their logo and everything, I mean, it's just it's fantastic. Yeah. So, and then yesterday, we were, whenever we were doing the tasting, uh, they also let us know that we got to meet Jimmy Russell yeah. and got to see him. He just, he just goes and hangs out at the gift shop, just signs bottles and hangs out. But Jimmy and Eddie, um, you know, this is kind of like one of their, this is like their baby. And this bottle is the last of the 107 uh, barrel proof entries. Yeah. So I, they raised it, I forget when they raised it to 110, I believe so. But this is like the equivalent of all the old wild turkey, all the old dusty wild turkey that everybody hunts for at 12 year and so on. Like this is that, this is the last batch that they have. Like this is, there's no, according to them, there's no more of this left. So this is kind of a, kind of a trip down uh, history yeah. with this. So, you know, and even the, the still that they had that they made all this from, it's not even in use anymore. It's actually at the gift shop. Uh, if you walk into the very back where you can see all the history and stuff of it. Mm, so you pretty. See it back there. Oh, yeah. Just the just the packaging of it. So the question is. You want I, to make I, pop I mean, go ahead. I, I don't want to look because it's like, you know. <laughs> Woohoo. I don't know. It smells good. Now, here, here's what's crazy about this bottle is normally whenever you think of real high-end allocation and stuff like this, uh, you think of stuff that's higher in proof, you know, starting from anywhere from like 115 to 120, 130. This is only 89.5 proof. This is a very, very low proof for a very highly sought after bottle. Uh, with that being said, it's definitely not a cheap bottle. Uh, MSRP is $250. So it is not cheap. Um, but, I mean, I guess once you kind of get into that kind of tier range of yep. those kind of bottles, it's kind of hard. I mean, outside of a couple of distilleries, you're, you're looking at around the 200, 250 plus range. So, yeah. But, all right, you ready? I'm, I'm, re I'm, I'm ready. I'm excited. Mm. The nose on it is just so, it's just, it's almost like delicate and sweet and just so, like, welcoming just so nice yeah there's definitely no harshness to it no not none whatsoever even as a fresh crack like no this it, thing smells so good honestly this thing seems like it's been open for months yeah with how much you it, just how much it it doesn't have that traditional cinnamon and spice of wild turkey on it on the nose and i don't know if that's just because of the ultra age of it yeah um you know or where it was you know, with the Rick House and all that stuff. Um, but no, it's just, it's so, so easy on the nose. And you get, I mean, you're I, just... I really get a smell of like vanilla in mm -hmm. there. Yeah, you get that, 
you get a lot of traditional notes of like vanilla and caramel, yeah. but then there's some fruit on there. That's just so nice. Yeah, it smells so good. I mean, it's just, it's like a cherry kind of apple. Yeah. And it's, I mean, just so, so awesome on the nose. It was like a smidge of brown sugar. Ooh. That's good. It's good. It's not That's overly good. sweet. It smells sweet, but it's not overly sweet. And actually, I honestly, probably the first thing that I, I that really hit my palate was probably like a, a little bit of like tobacco tobacco taste to it. Yeah, you definitely get some tobacco on like a little bit of the not on the front of the palate, but on the back side of the yeah. palate. I'll tell you what I what I get a lot of whenever that first hits my tongue. It's like a cherry cola. I don't know if it's like cherry Coke, cherry Pepsi, whatever. It's not like a Dr. Pepper or anything, but I'm getting like a cherry cola kind of thing, which is wild. Yeah. It's it's awesome. You also get a little bit, that caramel kind of still pops a little bit. Yeah. But it's like a charred caramel to it. Like it's... It's like it's sat like on a baking pan and then it's just like been in the oven for a little bit or something. Like it's just man, that's so good. Oh. Yeah, I like that. That yeah, it's amazing. And here's what's crazy. For for me, like I, I look at this from a standpoint of, you know, I, I tend to like a lot of higher proof stuff if I'm being honest. And it's not that I it's not that anything lower proof is bad. It's just that's why I just tend to yeah. tend to lean towards and with this it's definitely not higher proof like it's definitely not hitting you in the face no but that not. that palette of it stays with you a little bit like it would be a little bit of a higher proof yeah it's a little more complex than what I would say yeah. like a lower proof is yeah it's it's really good but I think it needs to be because people who really enjoy I think lower proof may not be willing to fork over the bucks no for oh yeah for for this no this is definitely yeah and so okay. this is gonna have to appeal to a higher to a higher palated person well, well and also think like this is gonna come if somebody has the opportunity for this which is gonna be very very far and few in between but if you have the opportunity for this this is somebody who like this stays on your shelf and you you drink it at special times like this is something like birthday celebrations whatever yeah. it is this isn't something as easy as what it could be to, to sip on this daily. Because yeah. this is easy. Yeah, you're like, not you're not gonna sip on this daily. <laughs> no. Um, but this is just it's it's awesome. I feel like the more you definitely get more of that leather on the palate was, too, by the way. Yeah, I was just getting ready to say like I swished it around in my mouth a little bit mm -hmm. and when you when you let it like get in uh, fully in there you you can kind of definitely taste the, the leathery the leathery part of it yeah i feel like the more you sip on it the more the more kind of like two things come out of it the more on the palate a little bit more fruit kind of opens up on it um like that cherry cola i said at first it kind of goes away after that first drink at least yeah. for me and then it kind of evolves into like an apple and an orange a little bit and then after a couple more sips of it you're starting to get more of a traditional like tobacco, leather, yeah. and even like a smidge of that traditional wild turkey spice that you might get on it. Yeah, just a little bit. Uh, but it's not It's not a lot. Yeah. Um, but yeah, gosh, it's... And it's not a super long finish in it. No, it's not. It's not It's not a crazy long finish. And I think that's, I mean, that's honestly the proof. The proof is what hurts that. Yeah. But it's still, for it being 89 proof, 89.5, it's... Yeah, I mean, it's still there for a little bit, though. Yeah, you know? I, th I think for me, the 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 lasting finish. If I was just sipping on this, what I drank it a little probably faster than I normally would have. But uh, I think the the leather with it just being neat is a, is I think is the last thing that kind of stays stays with me anyway. That's the yeah. that's kind of the last thing that I taste. And it's the lasting taste in my mouth is the, is kind of the leathery uh, taste of it. 
I'd be interested to see, which I wouldn't want to do, but to put either a smidge of water in that or even just to, even just like one one piece of ice in there just to see see what it would change it up see to. how it would change yeah. it see what the lasting taste would be as much against ice or water as some people are but some people are against it and would smack me in the face if I did it so when it comes to this bottle I know yeah. <laughs> but I, I do think it would be interesting we'll just all agree that he's wrong and it's okay so anyways from that point <laughs> I'm just saying, maybe the maybe the lasting flavor uh, flavor on your in your sure. in your I, to finish I, isn't I, isn't I, necessarily leather. It's maybe something else, one of those other things that pop up, like vanilla or you know something something like that that might open it up. Sure, you can try it if you uh, if you want to, but it's okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. So anyway, whatever it is, what it is. <laughs> I won't because it's his bottle. <laughs> And I enjoyed it just neat as well, so it's fine. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. So uh, if you have to, if you have to, what would you do? Would you buy it, drink it? Yeah. If I pass could, on it, if well, I kind of did pass on it, but it was not for. It was for good reasons. For medical purposes. Yes, for medical purposes. Uh, but if I had a chance to buy this bottle, I would definitely buy this bottle, um, and I would definitely crack yours open, and uh, yes, yes, maybe you would. leave mine on the shelf for a while and see uh, yes, see you. what it looked like, but. Truth is, uh, for a for a low proof bourbon, this is a really good bourbon that has a great flavor. Yeah, it's it's honestly pretty fantastic. If you are a fan of wild turkey in any way, shape, or form, this is definitely a get slash try. Um, I understand the price point might not be you know everybody's cup of tea, but yeah. this is at the end of the day, this is supposed to be an ultra rare allocation. Like this is like they make. I, I don't even know how many master keeps they make. I'm assuming that they make more of that than what they do this. Yeah. Um, but it's it, it's just it's something that you just can't come across every single day. Um, and whenever you do, if again, especially if you are a fan of wild turkey, uh, it doesn't matter if it's 101, if it's rare breed, if it's any of the Russells. Yeah. I would recommend giving it a try yeah. at least once. I think you're right. So for sure. But anyways, so at the end of every video, we always like to uh, say, if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and hit that little like button at the bottom of the video. And if you already haven't hit the subscribe button, we're very, very close from doing our first kind of giveaway that we're going to do. Once we hit around 100 subscribers, we're going to do a giveaway for the channel. So, um, But one thing you have to do is you have to be subscribed to the channel. Yeah. So please go ahead and hit that. And then also give us a like on Facebook. And uh, you can see all the updates that we have between whenever we get the opportunity to go to Wild Turkey or whenever you're anywhere around the Louisville, Kentucky area. We try to give updates of what's yeah. kind of going on so on and so forth. So, As always. Anyways. So, cool. Yeah. All right. Till the next time. We're Bourbon Kingdom. See you. Bye.